Hi St. Brendan's, good morning, it's Susan again. Um, I had a quick reflection to share with you this morning before you start your day. Um, that reflection is something that I've thought about before and that is, I don't know if you've ever noticed, but ever since quarantine ended almost, or at least for me, I got to go back to work, I started to forget to pack my lunch like it was nobody's business. Um, every day I would like leave and walk out the door without ever thinking about packing my lunch. And I realized very quickly, like one, it's because I haven't had to pack a lunch, but two, that when you are hungry, you almost settle for anything. Like when you are really hungry and it's three o'clock and you really didn't eat breakfast, you'll settle for anything when it comes to food wise. Um, normally I'm like, okay, I need to get enough protein. I need to make sure I like, is decently healthy healthy I actually really love salad but when it's like 3 p.m. and I'm starving I'm like okay where are the youth ministry snacks or I wonder if we have any like leftover food from like our birthday party at work and that just got me thinking about how true that also is in our spiritual life like when we're hungry like when we're just hungry when we're just searching when we know that we want something new and deeper um, when we don't feel satisfied, um, we end up choosing to consume anything, to find anything that will fill us. Um, and the reality is that we weren't just made for empty calories. We weren't made for an empty spiritual life. We weren't made for um, empty to be empty vessels. That the Lord wants to fill us, and not only fill us, but satisfy us. Um, and meet our <laughs> our needs um, the way good food meets nutritional needs. The Lord wants to meet each one of our own needs um, with different graces. And so this concept of how do I, like they always talk about meal prepping or meal planning. So how do I plan my spiritual life? How do I plan my spiritual day? And the truth is one, you don't have the grace for tomorrow, you have the grace for today. Um, I always find myself like over planning. I like, like to over prepare. It's just who I am. I like to come up with like rules and outlines and schedules, but the reality is like, I only have the grace for today. I can come up with those plans and outlines and schedules, but I have to know that whatever the Lord wants for me today is what's going to happen. <laughs> um, if that's to wake up early and pray, that's to wake up early and pray. If it ends up that that uh, doesn't work out for me, then I need to take time during my lunch hour to take time to pray. Um, those like just little adjustments while also being mindful and caring about taking that time for the Lord, taking that space for the Lord, while also not being overly critical of yourself um, if your plans that you had laid down the day before don't work out. Um, that's just like a little helpful advice, a little, um, thoughtful reflection on loving the Lord, trusting the Lord, and entering more deeply into prayer with Him. So thank you.